School is out, and that means we, as parents, are going to be hearing, I'm bored, every five seconds. I have 10 hacks for you using only a $1.25. So run, don't walk to your nearest Dollar Tree, and let's get started. Once you are in the Dollar Tree, grab your basket and head over to the arts and crafts area where you will find this pocket pouch. It looks just like a sheet protector, but it has an adorable pocket on it. Might be the teacher and me. You'll see later that I don't just use that pocket for markers. It's also used for other items. The first hack is to play I Spy with your kids. If you're going on a road trip, you can draw the items you're gonna see or you can have your child draw the items because clearly I am not good at this. And then you are going to stick it right into the pouch. It zips right up. You can see my mess up on the back. Let's pretend like that's not there. And as they see the items and you're driving along, they can use the markers that are in the back of their pouch to circle what they see. An alternative for this would be to find particular colors while you're driving. If you have some time before your road trip, your kids can draw the colors. They can use watercolors. They can use paint. I like using cardstock because it's much thicker. And then same as before, as they see anything that that's that color, they can circle it. Uh, number three, tic-tac-toe. We love tic-tac-toe in this house. Draw a few tic-tac-toe boards right on the paper. In this case, I used yellow because I was getting bored of white. Use whatever color you'd like. And when I went to stick it into the pocket, I was having a little bit of trouble. So we're just gonna chop, chop this paper up a little bit so that it fits into the pocket a little bit easier. So that was much better. And then you'll see my daughter's hand come in because she really wants to be in my YouTube videos, but I told her she can't. Um, not about that life of having your kids in the channel. Our first game was a draw. And then the second game, she actually wins and I didn't even do that on purpose. So. I'm I'm not that great at tic-tac-toe. Number three, Pictionary. We love Pictionary in my house. And in this case, you'll notice I'm not using the pocket pouch. I'm just using a sheet protector. So if you don't have, uh, if you can't find that pocket pouch and you have sheet protectors, it works the same. You can even just get a regular old marker board, which they also have at the Dollar Tree to use. And I like this little sheet protector or any of these plastic items because they are great for anything sticky. It doesn't stay. So if you're traveling with slime or Play-Doh, and if you really don't want it to move, you can roll up some tape on the back so that it doesn't shift around. Uh, and then I got a little crazy with it and I started having too much fun. <laughs> okay, next, games. Any kind of card game, you can use it as a scoreboard. You can keep the cards, Uno, whatever, inside the pouch. My son is really into pretend play. So I drew a setting of a volcano and then in the back pouch, you put whatever item they're going to use for the pretend play. So he can play with his little toys in the car and have a setting to go with it. All right, I don't know what number we're on, but we are on word of the day. If you are a parent who is trying not to have your child forget everything they learned during the school year, go on, and oh, I'm cutting it again because it doesn't fit. Um, go on to dictionary.com. They have a word of the day. And then you go ahead and every day just write in that word. And as your kids use the word, including yourself, you tally it up and the person who used it the most wins chores. They got to get it done. And I use chore charts all the time, especially for my 10 year old. If you have a younger child, you can draw pictures instead. Check marks, smiley face, happy face, stars, whatever it is, write them little notes so they get their job done. Next up is a mommy do list, which is a play on a hu husband do to do list. Whatever your kids keep asking you to do, have them write it down. And the last one is love notes for mommy. Let's keep it heartfelt. You can write things that you notice that your child is doing throughout the day. There is a lot of turmoil during the summer where our kids, um, they get on our last nerve. So it's good to make sure that the atmosphere is positive in your home and having a little spot from love notes from mommy could be a really sweet way to connect with your child throughout the day without having to tell them directly. Woo, 10 hacks, hopefully one of those will help you this summer so that you can enjoy your kids and also have some peace and serenity 
yourself. If you happen to be the primary caregiver doing a lot of these tasks, this video might be insightful for you. I'm Kristen, this is Mommy Breakdown where I break it down so you don't have a breakdown every single week. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.